How many subsets of the first 2n plus 1 natural numbers have no two elements that differ by 2? So try this on your own, and this is very similar to a problem I did in the past, except instead of 2n plus 1, we did 2n. So you try using those techniques. Okay, so let's call this number sn. Okay, so the number will be sn. So we're going to try to find a formula for, for sn. So let's take a look what's allowed and what's not allowed. So an example of a set that's allowed would be like 1, 2, 5, 8. Right? No two elements in this set differ by exactly 2. What's not allowed would be, let's do a couple of examples that aren't allowed, 1, 2, 4, 7. That's not allowed because 2 and 4 are exactly two apart. And another example of one that's not allowed would be 1, 3, 6, 9. Right? And why is this, why, why is this set not counted uh, in the problem? Well, 1 and 3 are, are next to each other. So what's, what you should note is if two numbers differ by exactly 2, so here 2 and 4 and here 1 and 3, then they're either both even or both odd, right? It's impossible to have an even and an odd number differ by exactly two from each other. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our sets, let's call them S, and we're gonna write them as the union of the even numbers, union with the odd numbers, okay? And here, E is a subset of the numbers two, four, up to 2n, an odd, or an o, will be a subset of the numbers, well, of the odd ones, 1, 3, up to 2n plus 1. Okay, and our answer, sn, is going to be the product of the number of even subsets times the number of odd subsets. So it's number of even, possible even subsets, times the number of odd subsets. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're, instead of looking at even subsets of 2n plus, or of 2n that avoid being two apart, let's divide each term here and let's look at a different set, a, which will be a subset of the numbers one through n. And we want to count the number of A that don't have consecutive entries. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this subset and we can map it back to E by taking X and mapping it to 2X. Okay, so we would take our subset and just double every entry and then that's going to give us, you know, E. And then similarly, We'll let b be a subset, how many, how big is this set here? It's 2n plus 1. So b will be a subset of 2n plus 1, oh sorry, of just n plus 1. And the way we'll map b back to odd is we'll take x and we'll map it to 2x minus 1. Okay, so our, our, um, entries will be sent to odd numbers. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to count how many subsets of 1 through n don't have consecutive, entry, uh, consecutive entries and how many subsets of n plus 1 don't have consecutive entries. So let's rewrite this as a question. How many subsets of 1 through k and then we'll set k equals n or n plus 1. So how many subsets of 1 through k do not have consecutive entries, have no consecutive entries? OK, and we'll let this number be a sub k. 
So we need a formula for a sub k. And there's going to be two possibilities for any subset that satisfies this property. It's either the case that k is in the subset or k is not in the subset. If k is not in the subset, then really our set is going to be a subset of 1 through k minus 1 that have no consecutive entries. So there's a sub k minus 1 ways to do that. If k is in the subset, then we automatically know that k minus 1 is not. And then what's remaining is a subset of 1 through k minus 2 that has no consecutive entries. There's a sub k minus 2 ways to do that. So we have this recursion, and this recursion might look familiar to some of you. It's the recursion that the Fibonacci numbers satisfy. But we can't conclude yet that this is that a sub k will be a Fibonacci number. We have to check the initial conditions. OK, so let's find what a sub 0 is. How many subsets of the empty set have no consecutive entries? There's one. It's just the empty set. And a sub 1 is equal to how many subsets of 1 have no consecutive entries? It's either the empty set or just the set containing 1. So there's two of them. OK, and so let's write out a few terms in this A sequence, and we can compare it to the Fibonacci numbers. So it would be uh, 1, 2, and then to get the next one, we just add the previous. So 3, 5, 8, 13. It's clearly the Fibonacci numbers, but how do they match up? Well, the 0th goes to the second Fibonacci number. The first term would go to the third Fibonacci number. So A sub k is equal to F sub k plus 2. And then to answer our question, how many, so even would be a sub n, odd would be a sub n plus 1. So s sub n is equal to f sub n plus 2 times f sub n plus 3. It's the product of consecutive Fibonacci numbers. Well, let me know in the comments if you're able to solve it. And uh, let me know if you like these types of videos. I'm happy to make more of them. All right. Thanks for watching.